Good morning everybody back over here. I'm wanting to push these logs back a little bit. I got the tractor trailer coming later today to get a load of those pulpwood logs and haul that off. I'm gonna run around there this morning and stack the burn pile up to kind of make more room to dump more brush. Go down there and uh, see if I can't cut some more stuff up and uh, round a few more loads up to bring up here. Let's get some of this stuff stacked up here. So I kind of sort through it when I clear it and uh or put it in the truck still gets a little bit of dirt mixed in with it and then i kind of pick through it again here as i stack it that gets the rest of the dirt out and whatever's left just kind of goes on the ground right here and uh as i burn i'll kind of pick through it if there's any more sticks and then whatever's left will uh, just go into the uh, burn hole there with the ashes. Get this stacked up. That'll give me a little more real estate to dump stuff. be a very big fire because it's all mostly small stuff but it's the right mixture of stuff that really makes it burn well it's not all big stuff and it's not all you know little branches and pine straw so. Brian needs to come over with his big grinder and grind all this up <laughs> Make some mulch out of it if it wasn't seven hours away, six hours away, whatever it was. stuff set here long enough it's kind of dried out pretty good so it should uh should burn, should burn good whenever i do set it on fire which i want to wait till i get everything out of the uh woods down there before burning it that way i don't burn up all my nice dry wood not be able to burn the uh green stuff down there but probably wouldn't be that big of a problem All right, well, I'm gonna keep stacking this up and gas the chainsaw up. Go ahead and head down there once I get all this put in the pile and see what needs to be done to uh, get some more stuff cleaned up, put in piles and ready to load out and haul up here to try and get that big uh, uh, trail cleared and ready to uh, bring the dozer back over here, root break it then uh, power wreck it with a skid steer. That way he can go ahead and plant the food plots and get all that stuff ready for, uh, for springtime. Found the trail he cleared. So I came in here with the chainsaw and cut everything up into about 10 to 12 foot long pieces and boy is that making a huge difference as far as speed on clearing things up literally just grab it rake it into a pile and go to the next and uh, when i get a grapple full i grab it turn around and go back out to the clearing stack it up so once i get down here um there's another food plot area down here an opening I'll end up dragging a lot of that brush down there so that uh, uh, I got an open area, a big open area to kind of work. And I can just back the truck down there and load it out down there a lot easier than trying to make a spot along this path right here to be able to you know, turn around or swing around with the excavator. 
takes a lot of real estate to turn uh, swing one of these machines around with a grapple full of brush. And in return, your little trail goes from 15, 18, 20 foot wide to 25. more and then I can I'll be able to spin around right here. No, not enough room. It looks like enough room until you have to try to spin around. And then there's not. So I'm making a big pile right here. So I can just back the truck up here and load that out in this opening. It'll definitely be a nice little trail when it's all done. I'll come around here with the dozer and break it and then uh, blade everything up. And then probably run the ruckus right through here to kind of flatten everything out clean it up nice. The good thing about driving the dump truck down through here, it packs all the stump holes in so it shouldn't settle too much later on and be a bumpy path because it kind of packs everything down as I go. Right here it won't be so bad because it's all little trees but wherever there was a bigger pine tree be a big stump hole and that's got to be packed down especially these little hardwoods right here coming in here and just kind of cutting that stuff up into manageable sizes just makes this task so much easier also had him run around here he didn't really do a whole lot right here but with the uh, with his mulcher and kind of try to cut the tops out of stuff kind of shrink it up a little bit but I think everything was just a crisscrossed and, and uh, hard to really mulch right in here But the object was to get all the stumps out of the ground. That's why it was kind of cleared. Instead of all mulch down to start with. You can see the brush pile and how big it is. That's how much stuff come out of this trail. And the fact of trying to comprehend mulching that much would be insane. All right, well, let me see if I can't grab this and get spun around and take this up there to the loadout area and then work my way back down here to clean up some more. Well, the log truck is on the way to come get a load of those logs there. I'm gonna grab Barney while waiting on him. Go ahead and take uh, that over there to the brush pile to load up and get it out of the way so we can load some logs. All right, log truck should be here in a few minutes. I'm gonna load out a load real quick. Then go ahead and drive the uh, excavator down there to load the truck, the tractor trailer. And then uh, probably go get some lunch. I'll set up the time lapse when I uh, load the tractor trailer. I don't think I've ever done a time lapse loading from the outside, so that should be uh, that should be a fun little video. much brush.
nice to load though when uh, you can get everything piled up and about two or three grapplefuls and the truck is loaded. Alright, that was him texting me he's pulling in, so let's go load some logs out. I think that's a full load get it strapped down and get them out of here let's head back and get another load of brush here so here's the uh, pond view from up here I think he's gonna end up building his house right here now that way he can overlook that I think that's gonna be very pretty there's the mulcher we got out of the woods it was stuck all right, let me uh, go down here, back up there, and get another load of brush and haul it down here to the burn pile. Got all this cut and cleaned up. I'm going to head down there with the chainsaw, cut up a few trees, grab these logs, take those down there, and uh, load up some more brush and get it out of here. I'm just gonna 
gonna clean up these few logs right here I just cut up. Stack them into the pile. And then uh, load up a load of brush, haul that, come back, get a load of logs. And that is going to end the fun for today. Sun is something else when you're in the shadows here. I've cleaned the windshield twice today and it's just the dust just sticks to it. Makes it hard to see. stuff in there like I want to. That's probably about enough. Stuff is kind of crisscrossed in here. Hard to get out. Haul some off to make room to crunch some up and stack it up. That's probably a good load there. Alright, well, I'm going to go dump that, come back, get the logs, Get out of here. This might be all of the pine logs that are uh, down here. I haven't walked around there, but normally there's not a whole lot of pine trees down there in the swamp. I would say swamp, but the bottom area. Um, so I'll get these loaded up. I got about two more grapple pulls up there where I started this morning. I'll haul those over there and my 
might be enough for a truck to come back and get one bunk full and then my buddy's doing a logging job like 10 minutes away so he can go over there and finish the load up with their logs. takes four off-road dump truck loads to make a tractor trailer load four or five I think five 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 of these truck loads to make a tractor trailer load so I probably have one might be two I'm not quite gonna have enough but we'll see if they want to come get them well was another good day today made some progress back there probably one more day uh spent some time today going through there cutting everything up and getting it stacked so it should load out a lot faster now and i still hauled i think eight loads out today along with the truckload of logs and i got another truckload right here cut up i'm gonna dump those out go down there grab the chainsaws and call it a day load of logs all right we're gonna leave it right here let's call it a day